it was an emotional affair, with Maddie and his family visibly moved at the launch. The retrospective exhibition aims to celebrate his artistic achievements over the decades, with his talent and mastery now on show for all to see. Soon to be 88, the artist has had a fulfilling career, influencing many along the way. Well, it's amazing, really. It, it's the, such a fantastic job. Uh, the only complaint is that I have more and I could have had another show as well because I've got so much work. And but it's fantastic the way they've done it and the way that the whole thing has been arranged and all my notes, my books and my drawings. And uh, it, it's incredible. And it was a night of surprises. The announcement of the new National Gallery to be named after Mario Filinson was certainly the highlight, with a musical treat, courtesy of singer Andrea Simpson, also an offer. Gibraltar's Art Doyen has been advocating a National Gallery for many years and is over the moon that this will now be a reality. Well, you know, I've been fighting for this thing all my life. I've discussed with her science, and Joshua Hassan, discussed with the, all the ministers who've been ministered for, for art and for everything. And I'm shocked, <laughs> shocked because I haven't done anything, you know. You know, when, you, when you're doing something which you, it's part of you, it's not work, it's not pleasure, it's just a continuation of yourself through painting. And when this happens, it's like, uh, I don't know, I cannot explain the, the sensation because I still don't believe it. I mean, I don't, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. It's, it's something which uh, is a great honor, but uh, I'm just a very ordinary guy. I'm not the best, I'm not the worst. I, but I just paint for myself and for anyone who likes my work. But I'm not there for the money. <laughs> I'm there for my reason to exist. And to, I suppose it's to leave behind something of yourself that will be forever there. Organised by the cultural services, the experience has proved to be a pleasure for those involved. This is a testament to his life, uh, to everything that he's done and the influence that he's had. Uh, he was a teacher, he was a fireman, he's done, he's done so many things for us, for our community. And uh, in everything that he's done for art as well, we've got artworks dating back to 1945 uh, and ranging to 2014 and, and work that he's still doing uh, to promote art uh, using his iPad. So it's a lot of digital work and it's, it's great the, what we have been able to achieve in this exhibition. It was a well-attended event with many paying tribute to Mario and the impact he's had on the community. I've got it very simply put. I think he's the father of all existing local artists. He inspired all of us, and in my case, tremendously. Um, I think he's a great artist and he's had a, a big influence on all artists in Gibraltar. And uh, basically, I think he's paved the way for, for all of us, really. Like, uh, someone who's been consistent, he's, uh, he's carried on developing throughout like, his whole career. And he's still painting now, at his age, which is like magnificent. He's someone that doesn't matter what generation you ask, and they've influenced one way or another, whether it is a person who adores art, who follows art, or just merely an artist himself. Um, and I think that you can see one key word that I would relate with this actual exhibition is versatility, versatile. He's done, you know, prints, he's done acrylics, he's done oils, and not only that, in the, the subject matter. We all think of Mario the rooftop man, but far from it. You know, he's got figures, he's got landscapes, he's got a bit of everything. So, I mean, I want to congratulate him personally, and I think he's a, he's a, a joy of a person to talk to and a fantastic ambassador of Gibraltar. Set at the Gustavo Vacarisa's gallery, the exhibition shows off Mario's artistic journey, from his earlier works to some of his latest creations. The artist continues to have a lasting impression on the community, with his work providing a visual representation of Gibraltar past and present. And with a new national gallery bearing his name expected to be open in the spring, Mario's influence and future legacy is sure to continue for years to come.